do what's going on with this lighting. But good morning. It's uh, day three of Vlogmas today, and um, I've no idea what's going on because I've just Henry's like suddenly run outside with the ladder, and um, I looked up. Let me just turn the extractor panel. off. Let me see if I can show you. I looked up, ignore all this by the way, um, and he was on the roof. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I think it's because there's, I'm assuming, is that a leak? It looks like that's a leak, so I think he's maybe gone to investigate what's going on. So, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Let me turn this down. Um, so yeah, so it's almost 12 o'clock. It's one of those mornings where it's literally just gone. I mean, I did sleep in till about half nine. So I had a bit of a lie in. I've just cooked dinner for tonight. I've done a beef stroganoff in the slow cooker. So I've just done that. Um, and then we're about to take Frank out for a walk. And then I need to edit yesterday's vlog. And then I need to tidy the house because Henry's stepmom and her best friend are coming around. Um, and then finally we'll decorate the house. So I can just see Henry. You can see him coming down now with his ladder. Can you see that? <laughs> that looks good, doesn't it? There he is. <laughs> and yeah, this is a right mess. I'm gonna tidy this all up, so ignore that. But yeah, I just thought I'd quickly check in. I thought I'd get a, I thought I'd be able to get Henry on the roof for you. But obviously he hid. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go upstairs, get ready to take Frank on a walk, and then I'll see if Henry wants me to take him on my own if that's easier. But yeah, busy Saturday morning here. <laughs> the joys of being a house owner. We, I found myself a stick by the way, because I have been watching back all of my vlog footage. I'm not even joking, it's just like so shaky because I'm such a streak in Stevens. Um, so yeah, we're literally, we're just having a impromptu um, visit to Sainsbury's because our hoover has broke. Well, it's been broken for like the past week and we are meant to be sending it off with back. So we suddenly thought, why don't we just take it back to Sainsbury's? So I've given them a call and they said, as long as we've got the receipt, which we have, we can take it back. So that would be good because um, we're laughing at. Heavy camera, is it? It is a heavy camera. Do you know, this is like unrelated, but do you know what I don't understand? One of life's greatest mysteries is how Casey Neistat, I know he doesn't vlog anymore, how he used to vlog with a Canon 70D. Good. Guns of steel. Guns of steel. I can't even vlog with this and this is like a quarter of the size of what a 70D is. So, that probably shows you what I only have 40,000 subscribers, while Casey Neistat has like a billion. But yeah, that's just one of my little things that I think about. Anyways, so yeah, so we're gonna go to Sainsbury's and then... <laughs> Hello. Ooh, it moved then. You are not mean it. You're looking very patriotic, Frank. Considering you're actually Australian. Got it. day, mate. So yeah, we're going to go take that the Hoover, then we're going to go to next because, oh, are you ready? I'm going to go buy something that's so exciting. A bin. That's right, a bin. So, you're going to come with us. And I've got my selfie stick, so hopefully things will be a lot more steady. Steady Eddie. That'll be my new name. Either we're going for... Um, if someone ever serves us. <laughs> Look at all these Hoovers though. Henry does want a Henry. How's your uh, shopping experience, Hen? I hate Christmas. It's so... Ah! Stop it! Oh, what, what lane are you in? Um, so we've literally got a new Hoover. We went and got some treats from Sainsbury's. And we got £10 back. We got £10 back? Oh yeah, because it was £10 less than the other Hoover we had before. So winner, winner. Um, now we just make on our way back and we have an hour to Henry's stepmom, possibly his dad, and her friend arrives. And the house looks like a pigsty. So we're going to do some crazy cleaning now, aren't we? It's all right, we've got a new bin. Yes, I bought a new bin. I'll show you it when we get in. Um, so yeah, we've got a new bin, so that's very exciting. So it's, Unbelievable. It's, uh, have you already used that pun though? We're going to go home crazy clean. Sorry? They're going to 
dobbies and they were weak. There's not much at dobbies, is there? There's not, no. Gardens, any. If you are a shoes for a person, you will know what we're talking about. I haven't been to dobbies in years though, so it could be the place of Maybe the cafe fun. is. I doubt it. I remember one time I went to dobbies when I was little. Cool story, bro. I haven't finished yet. And um, the Ground Force team were there. Do you remember when Ground Force was really big? Yeah. Anyways, we went and I was really hoping that I would see them. They'd already gone home. Or at least you got to see Charlie Dimmock. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. I served Charlie Dimmock in Debenhams in my old job. It was literally a couple of weeks before I left and I was like, this has just made my whole Debenhams career. Serving Charlie Dimmock and exchanging them some jeans. And like whenever she wasn't looking, I'd look at everyone else going, no one had any clue what I was talking about. So, there we go. Well, it clearly wasn't her, it's just some other gentleman. No, I swear down it, Charlie Dimmock, and then I told someone, and they were like, oh yeah, she lives in Winchester, so it definitely was Charlie Dimmock. She was exchanging some jeans, just so you all know. And I didn't know if she was wearing a bra, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. Because now when I watch Ground Force, I realise why my dad was so into that programme. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> He's probably not watching, though. But how she didn't used to wear a bra, which is why I think men used to like it, because she'd always have the nips out. So on that bombshell, we are almost home now. So um, I don't know when I'll vlog next because for the next hour I'm going to be cleaning. And then that's something you do very often. I clean all the time. Dog. That's a very rude thing to say. Ah, oh, baby pug, a bug. <laughs> that's cute. Crazy cleaning, and the house is looking a bit more respectable now. So we are ready. Very respectable. Very respectable. How's the new heaver? I don't know what this is for. Sucking up stuff. And then we tied up the kitchen. Um, yeah, so we are all ready to go. No, the bin's still in the car. I still need to show you the bin. It's an amazing bin. The bin of bins. It's definitely a blue right. bin, yeah. if that yeah. makes sense. So yeah, and also I got changed because my top that I had on before had like a soup stain on it and I can walk around all day with a soup stain on the front. Not ideal. So yeah, also, why do chokers always go around the other way? Like, if I wanted to wear a clasp, I'd wear a choker that looked like a clasp. Ooh, doesn't matter then. So yes, we're just waiting for them to arrive. Um, and yeah, Henry's gone to get the bin, so I will show you that in a second. Bin is ready to be unveiled. Ta-da! It's a copper bin. I know. But seriously, what a beautiful bin. It's from Next. You go ready, you pop your foot up. I need to pop your foot up. And then it's got a, look, a soft close. Is that what it's called, Hen? A soft close. He's not listening to me. But yeah, so you can't slam your bin in anger, which is kind of sad. You know, sometimes you need to slam your bin down in anger, but yeah, beautiful. So I'm very happy with that bin purchase. What a beautiful bin. So it is time to part of the Christmas tree. Are you ready, Ham? That is the same. There's some fairy lights up here. I feel like it doesn't look that Christmassy in here though. But I'm going shopping tomorrow, so I might pick up some more bits and bobs. And then through here, we've got this little tree, which I got from a car boot for £3.50, which I thought was a bit of a bargain, and we just put some fairy lights on it. So that looks really cute, but I'm going to pop that in that corner there once all my stuff's moved, and obviously my little festive bar cart. But there we go. It looks very blue, those lights though. 
I do remember them being that blue. But we are getting a new boiler next week. Um, and this monstrosity that is this fireplace is going. So we're going to get a fireplace and then a board to just board it over. And I'm going to put like that lantern or the candles in the middle. So we'll actually have a proper fireplace. I think that will make things a bit more Christmassy. Cause we can actually put, like I've got like a garland to put on it and like a, um, a sign, that kind of thing. So I'm sure that'll make a difference. So yeah. I decided I'm going to make a hot chocolate because I want something sweet. I'm gonna put some Bailey's in it too, because why not? It's a Saturday night. <laughs> Henry, have you written to Santa? No. No. Yes. He's 17. Well, I wanted him to sing Wham. Look at the coats. The trees. What is it today? Is that the crazy frog? I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really look. The Santa. How? His eyes are in the middle. Oh, uh, I would have so down. <laughs> that looks like Santa, doesn't it? You have me out. <laughs> Frank, you need to tell us which curtains we need. What curtains do you like? He looks? I don't think he's impressed with those ones. Should we get dog curtains? Do you think there's such a thing as a dog curtain? Frank? We need to get him a dog blind. A dog blind? Sorry. <laughs> he's like, no. No. I really don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got dog curtains. Don't cry, Frank. We'll find some. No. I get so How good does Frank look? <laughs> I'm going to bed now. Um, I will see you tomorrow. I'm going Christmas shopping with my mum tomorrow. Um, so I'll obviously. I'm not invited. You were invited. I just said you probably wouldn't enjoy it. That's all. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so we're just heading to bed now. Um, we've had just a really chilled night. Not really done much, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, I go Christmas shopping tomorrow. Mum's picking me up quite early. And then hopefully I um, won't be there all day because <laughs> I need to edit my video or this vlog in between in the afternoon because then we're going to Henry's mum's for dinner tomorrow night. Um, and then yeah, then it's Monday again, so that's crazy. So yeah, so I will see you tomorrow for day four of Vlogmas, I think, and Christmas shopping. And um, yeah, I will see you then. Bye. I don't know if you can hear Frank having a massive drink in the background. He always has a massive drink before he goes to bed and I'm just like, why do you do that? Did anyone else's dog do that or is it just my dog? Is it wee wee time, Frank? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.